My name is Preston. I'm the director of development here and Sydney's favorite person. Hi, I'm Sydney and I work here. Hi, I'm Christy and I'm one of the history hosts here at Dallas Heritage Village. And I'm Gene and I'm one of the history hosts out at the farm. I'm only a farmer. All right. Got a gift. Got a gift. Apparently there are two items in here. I know what that is. I think this is a gem. I think for hamsters, I think. Yeah. I'm going with like dumbbells for uh, like a hamster or something. No. Maybe um, like fancy paperweights? Oh, it has a number on it. Wait, that's the, that's the collection number. number. That's the collection number. I don't know. My first thought would have almost been wine stopper, but since it's double sided. No, never mind. Uh, tableware. I think tableware. Does it come apart? No. Okay. Something to put on the table. Maybe a knife rest? I think it would keep your tablecloth from getting messed up if you had a butter knife laying there or a jelly spoon. Anything that would, uh, I have similar stuff in my shop that I use for uh, soldering irons. You have a little prop that you lay that so the soldering iron doesn't burn holes in the table. What about like, like pastry or like some kind of... Like a pastry or like a Like a, well no, no, wait, wait, wait. Alright, so what? it's got the... It's got ridges. It's got ridges and like pastry has ridges or something so maybe it's a it could almost be like a pasta cutter <laughs> like have you seen the fancy swirly pasta cutter things no i have not but i'll take your word for okay it. well yeah it almost looks on the end like it could be one of these but since it's and double it, sided it, it, i don't think it's one of those yeah so we've got like hamster dumbbells or <laughs> pasta cutter of some sort. Or possibly a paperweight. Or possibly a paperweight. Yeah, I think we're in agreement that it's a table for for a knife uh, knife rest or something. Yeah. And this is a plate for those that are interested. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm the curator at Dallas Heritage Village and it's time to tell you guys what the artifact is. So I was actually really proud of one of the groups of guessers today who got this right. These are knife rests. Um, so they would sit on your table. Actually, the way where they would go in the place setting is you would have your plate here, your forks over here, your knives here, and it would go just slightly above the knife. And you would use it only between courses when your plate was being carried away and the new one coming out. So you would use it to rest your knife so it wouldn't get the tablecloth dirty. And during the meal, while you're eating, you would rest the knife on your plate at a diagonal. That was the proper etiquette. Uh, they would also use these uh, for carving knives for the master of the house or the butler if you were very, very fancy and had a butler. Um, again, so that the juices from the meat would not ruin your lovely, lovely linens. So it actually was invented for carving stations, not just for the table. And then they became popular in the Victorian era. And my theory is probably because it showed your wealth. You know, if you could have something like this made out of crystal or glass or metal, there's some very, very fancy ones out there. It would show off that you know you could afford to have it one for every place setting as well as you know keeping your linens clean it's a plate <laughs> was a knife rest or a table Woo! Oh, I guess it right. <laughs> so it was hamster dumbbells. hamster dumbbells is that correct it's not correct uh, it's a